Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today I'm going to talk about a new feature in SQL Server 2016 that is dynamic data masking. And I've also blogged about this feature in my blog a few days back. So I'll take you to my blog again. As you can see the blog post obfuscate column level data by using dynamic data masking in SQL Server 2016. So SQL Server 2016 this time has made very good additions in the area of security by introducing features like always encrypted role level security that you can check in my previous post here and in my previous video and the third is dynamic data masking that I will discuss here and other security features like transparent data encryption that is already there but it has added some new features here so in this video we'll talk about dynamic data masking so dynamic data masking provides you the support for real-time data obfuscation so that the data requesters do not get access to unauthorized data so by this dynamic data masking only the users who are authorized to see the data they will be able to see it the users who are not authorized to see the particular data they will not be able to see it although the authorized and unauthorized both the users will be having access to the same table they'll be also be having to access at the row level but the unauthorized users not be able to see the data in the cell of that particular row they will see some different stuff there we'll see it at the bottom so this feature protects sensitive data even when it is not encrypted uh, so this is not encryption i would tell you this is obfuscation means the data will be hidden and something else will be shown in place of it and it shows the obfuscated data at the presentation layer without changing anything at the database layer. So it just checks which particular user is accessing the data and if the user is not authorized, it shows the data obfuscated. So it's again a policy based uh, feature that uh, is similar to the role level security that we checked earlier. So dynamic data masking provides you three functions or options to mask your data. One is default. So if you select this option, it will just replace the values with XXX email it shows an email id in this particular format if the user is not authorized so the email id will be shown in the first character will be shown as it is but the other character will be shown as x in between at the rate and dot com like this partial like credit cards right so if you see credit card the first four characters you can see and then you normally see xxx so this particular by this particular partial function you can provide that particular kind of masking now to set up dynamic data masking on a particular table all you need to create a table with masked functions at a column level right so our row level security was at the row level this is at the column level okay or if the table is already there you can alter the table columns by using these particular options which we'll, we'll see in our demo now create users in grant read access or select access for the above created or alter tables okay and now all this exercise i have already in ssms so we'll just directly jump to ssms okay here again i'll use the database testman db you can create any other database with any other name okay i'll create the table dbo.customer this table has customer id first name and last name so i have marked this last name as default okay so that's the first option that i've got phone number I have again masked this function with this partial function email I have marked this function with the email function the third option and the credit card number so again I have used the partial to mask this okay okay now let's insert some records so here I'll just insert the records first name last name phone number email ID and the credit card number so, so let me tell you all these are fictitious uh, data it does not represent the correct data of any of these users okay now let's see the data before masking so here I can see the first name, I can see the last name, I can see the phone numbers, email ID and credit card number as it is as they were entered, right? What I'll do, I'll just create a user, right? I'll just create a user, I've named it any user without login. Grant select on DBO customer to any user. So I'll create a user and I'll grant a select on this particular table to this particular user. Okay, so this particular user had just a select statement, right? So if I execute in context of this user, what do I see? I'll execute at user equal to any user. Just do a select star from dbo.customer and revert. Okay, so here you see. So with last name, I had I had a default masking. So it changed everything to XX. Phone number, I have a partial masking like this. And with the partial masking, these are my parameters. Uh, so let me take you back to the blog where I've described about these. So if the partial first parameter is the prefix then the padding and then the suffix so how many characters do you want to see in the prefix how many characters do you want to see in the suffix and what should be the middle padding here okay so here 
what I've done is I've decided to show the first number of the phone number then all xxx at the last I don't want to show any phone number right so here it has shown me this type of masking okay email there's no option it is just a default masking so here you'll be able to see email ID just like this all masked here for a credit card what I have done is a partial masking of say first four numbers of the credit card then xx the last two numbers like this right okay now let's see how to unmask a particular column so what I'll do is the last name I'll just unmask this column so to unmask this column I'll need to just alter this table db.customer and alter the column name last name drop masked so this is very simple and I can just unmask this column okay now how do I grant unmask permission to this particular user right now this particular cannot see the data here right because all these things are masked so how can how I can unmask is very simple just grant unmask permission to this user and execute as user same thing so now this user is able to see everything right now how to revoke this unmask permission just go ahead and uh, revoke unmask to any user and just again do a select stuff by doing this so this is the simple way you can set up dynamic data masking on a particular table and you can provide or revoke or restrict access to a particular set of users with very very simple ways and with very few steps it took us just two steps to implement dynamic data masking and very few other steps or I would say options to play with this dynamic data masking like you can all create a new table with mask columns or if the table is already there you can alter the table and mask any other column or if the columns are already masked you can even alter the table and unmask those columns and similarly you can mask and unmask permissions for a particular table thank you very much for watching this video and let me know if you have any comments or any feedback for me thanks a lot